Hello guys and welcome to Vlogging Project. This is Tony, your favorite YouTuber. Today I'm gonna do a very special unboxing of the Energizer Hardcase H10. Apparently the cheapest durable phone on the market right now for the fantastic price of 15 pounds, guys. Can you imagine? 15 pounds for a durable phone. That's absolutely insane. If Nokia did that, it would have costed about 100 pounds. But thank God they didn't. So <laughs> let's see what we're dealing with over here, guys. I'm gonna flip the box over here so we can uh, read through the specifications together. So the phone is shockproof, splashproof, dustproof IP54, which means that it's not IP68 certified, which means that it's not going to survive under water. However, it is splashproof, so it should be good enough. Of course, I'm gonna test it, uh, dipping it into my jug. And in the next video, I'm going to do a dedicated durability test where I'm going to scratch it, burn it, you know, twist it. And of course, I'm going to run over it with my limo. So uh, it has a 2G connectivity, which automatically means three users look elsewhere. 1.8 inch TFT LCD screen with the ancient resolution with 128 by 160, pretty much the same as the legendary Siemens M65 from like 15 years ago. You've got two cameras, one at the front, one at the back, VGA resolution, which is 640 by 480, MTK6261A processor inside, 64 megabytes of storage with a memory card slot and just 32 megabytes of RAM, <laughs> not gigabytes, 1000 milliamp hours of battery, dual SIM connectivity as well. And one particular thing I really like about this phone is that Energizer are actually not lying to their customers, declaring real-time specifications. Check this out, guys. Standby up to six days, pretty much, and tow time up to nine days. Because what Nokia is actually doing with their phones is that they declare over a month of standby time and you get only a week and you're disappointed, which I'm happy that they didn't in this particular case. By the way, if you want to know how I got this phone and where I found the deal for just 15 pounds because by the time you press this Amazon link that I'm gonna leave in the description down below there might be no units left so if you want to have a constant access to my deals I've got something special set up already guys if you want to sponsor my channel go on coffee.com slash vlogging project where I'm going to be posting deals a few times a week like this one for example check this out i've already posted it over here guys 15 pounds with the amazon link that i bought it from now i'm gonna run a subscription based service over here for just one pound a month you can subscribe to my deals and get an email straight away when i post a great deal guys of course that's optional uh, you might as well miss that deal so enough of the mumbo jumbo let's get to the unboxing of this phone already guys four minutes into the video so i really like the box design check this out how the phone protrudes a little bit as well as the energizer logo over here very nice metal box you've got <laughs> these zip ties on the side by the way which one has zip ties on the side guys let me know about it if you know any other phone apart from the energizer of course what do we have guys oh my god so this is the phone oh man it looks like a prop honestly it doesn't look like a real phone the button design reminds me of those doro phones and this sticker over here let's peel it off oh man Honestly, it looks like a fake phone. It doesn't look like a real phone at all, guys. But check this out. This rugged design over here, and it's extremely lightweight. They say 80 grams, but 80 grams doesn't speak for itself pretty much. You really have to hold it to appreciate how light that thing is. You've got a torch over here. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Nothing on this side. Nothing on this side. And over here, micro USB. I can imagine, guys. Yes, micro USB and 3.5 millimeter jack. Oh, yes. All right. So over here, let's see. Mm, okay, we've got two screws over here. Uh, they should include some sort of a tool which I can unscrew them with. Let's see what else do we have in the box, guys. Okay, a bunch of stuff over here. Let's start, let's start from the charger, guys. Um, we've got an energizer charger over here. That is nice. 
we've got different plugs from different countries this is the two pin european plug over here this one i've got no idea probably the chinese plug is this one we've got the uk plug as well i mean this charger probably cost like 10 pounds by its own guys uh, what else do we have over here guys headphones can you imagine we've got a cheap plastic headphones over here for a 15 pound phone guys this is absolutely amazing this is the usb cable from what i can see over here this is the battery 1000 milliamp hours of battery decent size uh, pretty much equal to the bl5c nokia battery and from what i can tell yeah it's pretty much the same as the bl5c nokia battery guys we've got the tool of course we've got the key oh yeah and we've got an instruction manual i seriously doubt i'm gonna ever be dead because the phone can't be really uh you know more simple than that and let's see how this one works okay you just have to unscrew them like that let's see if they fully unscrew or just a little bit over here guys all right let's see what we have okay so let's have a look over here one sim two sim and a dedicated memory card slot i'm already liking that so i'm gonna pop this battery in that adds 20 grams to the overall weight so i think it's 80 grams with the battery so i'm gonna close this one check this out there is no kind of rubber coating over here on the side guys unfortunately so i'm not sure if it's gonna survive my underwater test but of course there's only one way to find out let me just screw this thing over here okay Man, I can't wait to do the durability test and run over it with the limo. And I'm gonna tell you from now when I power it on whether it's gonna survive or not. Um, let's power this baby up, guys. And let's see. Energizer. Okay. Alright, we're already in. That was pretty much the quickest boot in the history of mobile phones. And to be honest with you, the screen is not terrible from what I can see. It's actually okay. The viewing angles are uh, not the best but not too bad not too bad to be honest with you and this thing oh man this thing is quick check this out guys this thing is absolutely killing it guys what do we have let's see let's see let's see what do we have call center messages phone call fun okay games really snake what we've got a snake okay Oh, that, 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 that's that's some sort of a snake i think it's better than the new nokia snake right but definitely not the best snake game out there but at least you've got a game multimedia okay camera okay video player audio player sound recorder fm radio as well and file manager not too bad not too bad let's see how is the camera guys okay camera is all right i can imagine anyways you're not gonna take too many selfies with this phone organizer let's see sos alarm calculator calendar torch light okay the torch works fine it's a little bit on the not very powerful side but at least you've got a torch guys profiles services settings let's see what else do we have so in the wallpaper section you've got only one wallpaper but i can imagine if you you know upload some to your memory card you'll be able to change it with different ones and now let me quickly see how is the volume of this phone because i'm actually quite curious to see customize ring only let's see what do we have over here guys vibrate and ring okay that is good ringtone let's see let's see the ringtone oh my god only one ringtone okay um where is that sound coming from yeah so the speaker is at the back over here guys i can't really tell how loud it is because well you've got only one ringtone but I mean you should get the job done but yeah i mean is there any point of me doing any further reviews guys you've got a tough phone over here for 15 pounds so let's see how it compares to the rest this is of course the og siemens m65 over here 
This is the Mobiwire Ayaisha, which you can get for like five to 10 quid. A very solid phone, by the way, very solid phone. I've got a comparison video between those two phones, the new Nokia 105, but you can see this Nokia looks kind of worse, in my opinion, than the Energizer. And of course, the Nokia 3310, which actually survived my durability tests over here, guys. And of course, if you want to compare it to the big boys, the Nokia 800 Tough running Kai OS, it is significantly smaller, guys. And over here with the Cat B35, by the way, I like this one better than the Nokia over here, guys. As you can see, a lot smaller. So pretty much, what is my verdict of this phone? For 15 quid, this is an instant buy, guys. You're not gonna get a shockproof phone for 15 quid with a memory card slot, with a dedicated radio. By the way, do we have a Bluetooth? That's what I forgot to check. Is there Bluetooth on board or there isn't, guys? Let me quickly have a look over here. Connectivity, Bluetooth, yes, there is a Bluetooth. So this phone is an instant buy, guys. Bluetooth, memory card slot, camera, torch, IP certification, this one is definitely a go for me. Uh, and yeah, pretty much that is it, guys. I'm gonna leave a link in the description down below. Again, if you want access to my deals, you better sign up for my coffee page. Or if you don't want to, you just enjoy what I'm about to do to this phone, run over it with my limo, scratch, burn, bend, test as well. So in terms of the review, absolutely 15 quid. If you're about to get wasted on a Friday night, get one of those, put your SIM in, leave your $2,000, uh, you know, Samsung phone at home and uh, <laughs> and just, 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 just don't risk it, guys. Get one of these. It is durable enough from what I can see. But again, more on the durability in my next video. So far, that's it. Thank you very much for watching, guys. That was Tony from Vlogging Project. Adiós.